Hi, this is Gail. Oh, yeah, so it's really hot today. It's been a while since God's had me YouTube, but today is the day. So it's Sunday, August the 15th. And um, hmm, I am going to be YouTubing on war. Mm hmm. So, war. Is this war against flesh and blood or principalities? Whew. So, again, I'm praying that God just speak through my heart and out my mouth so that I can speak to you in spirit and truth and encourage you and be encouraged myself. So, today, um, <laughs> at Catalyst, where I worship with the body of Christ, um, the subject and the teaching and preaching was on war. It was on the very thing that I had YouTubed about um, and blogged about, I don't know, this past week. So that's how God works, you know, when, when he affirms through more than one person, then the spirit is in agreement. And that's just not spooky talk. It always sounded spooky as an unbeliever. But as a believer, that's very normal kingdom of God language. So, um, hmm. so we're just going to cut to the chase and get right to it. Um, and we're going to go right to the word of God. Um, in the Holy Bible, he's addressing his people. He's addressing he would, he would address Israel, and then now he's addressing the church, the body of Christ, of born-again believers. And he's calling us to uh, not put our head in the sands and pretend like there isn't a war going on. You know, we, we see wars against nations. You know, those are physical wars, which we're used to. That's a common language for the flesh, but there's a bigger war going on between um, God and Satan for the souls of mankind. And I know that just sounds really weird, but it did to me too, but it's no longer weird. It's, it's truth. And so in the blog that I wrote, it's about giving it a voice instead of Pretending like it doesn't exist, you know, like, okay, there's no devil. Well, that's a lie or okay We're not battling against um, Principalities that we can't see. Well, that's a lie um, Because the flesh wants to base everything on what we see but There's another unseen realm and that is where um, The demonic and God's army battle. So, you know, there's the final victory has already been done at the cross. I mean, Satan's been defeated. He knows that his days are limited, that, you know, especially now all the all the signs of the prophetic are being fulfilled. And so everything is pointing towards the end of times for this earth when Christ is going to come back for his church and, you know, there will be the thousand year reign, you know, there will come the time when Satan is cast into hell.